Mary Mate, and welcome to the Enchanted Oak. Um, today we are going to be talking about Ostera. Um, Ostera is coming up March 20th, um, right around the corner, first day of spring. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Plus, we are going to be opening our Ostera Sabbath box. Just came today. Um, so I wanted to go over that here with you. And it ties into each other. So um, Ostera, like I said, um, is actually the uh, vernal equinox. First day of spring. Um a lot of people celebrate, you know, fertility, springtime, you know, you have the baby animals, um, you know, the Christian holiday around this time is Easter. You have the bunny, the eggs, um, all symbols of fertility. Um, I wanted to read this to you. It is actually from the pamphlet, um, just so that you, you know, get some general information here and understanding. So, let me see. so, Ostera is uh, March 20th. Um, the actual day that Ostera falls um, can change from time to time. Um, so, it's not like Easter. Easter changes all the time. But, um, it's usually on or around the 20th. Um, but, you know, this year it is March 20th. Um, so, who originally observed it? So, uh, Going back in history, it, they have um, found evidence that ancient Egyptians were some of the first people um, to observe the vernal equinox along with the Persians, the Celts, the Greeks, and the Aztecs. Um, we don't know who was the first to celebrate Ostera by name, or who named it Ostera, anything like that. Um, they don't have the evidence to say, oh yeah, it was Egyptians, they called it this. No, if you know a lot of myth, Egyptian mythology, um, they worship the sun. Granted, most do. Um, but, you know, with you know, the Egyptians um, and back in those times, that's how time was, and seasons were calculated so much. They knew when to harvest by the suns and the moons and things like that. Um, and so, like I said, Ostera is also known as the spring or vernal equinox. Um, the other, there's only two equinoxes we have each year. The other one, obviously, is the autumn equinox, um, which autumn, fall, is when it happens. Uh, the vernal equinox marks the first day of spring, like I mentioned. And it's also the time of the year with the light of day and the dark of night are equal. So you have equal day, equal night. Um, and then after that, they start getting longer. Um, the word equinox comes from Latin. I can't pronounce Latin. I took Latin in high school. I can't pronounce it. But it means equal night. That's all it is. Um, Ostera is derived from the Proto-Germanic word ostro, meaning to shine, or the word estre, meaning to rise. Um, I mean, you know, for Yule, we celebrate the dying of the sun. And then, um, this is kind of the rebirth of the sun. It's coming back. Days are getting longer. Um, we are in the Eastern time zone. We just went through daylight savings. Yeah, time change. Spring forward. So we lost an hour, but we have daylight longer now. Um, but not so much as last longer, it's just, it gets brighter later, but it's going to stay lighter as you get more into the night. So the magical significance, focus. Thank you. Um, the magical significance, in the Northern Hemisphere, Ostera marks the first official day of spring. As you look around, you may have started to see the presence of new life taking shape in many forms. As the days heading up to Ostera tend to signal nature to awaken from its wintry slumber. I don't think our area has gotten that message. Granted, the snow is almost gone. It did rain a lot. It's still cold. We are coming up. We're supposed to warm up um, this week. We'll see if it stays. 
Um, but you all, you all should start to notice more green coming back, flowers starting to bloom, um, things like that. I'll know it's spring when my bleeding hearts in the garden bloom. When that plant comes back, I know spring's here. Um, it comes back in early spring and dies off just before the summer. I'll have to get video of it um, to post to y'all. I know it's once spring is officially here, I'm going to have a gardening video. It's going to be part of our Wellness Wednesdays. So you'll be able to see those then. Uh, for many pagans, Austera in the spring equinox represents rebirth, growth, balance, and fertility. This marks a great time to work prosperity magic in order to manifest your goals and bring them into fruition. Fruition. To bring them to pass. Okay. Another common theme around this time of year is spring cleaning, both physically and spiritually. Already on the list. Uh, spring also marks the time to work magic pertaining to love and manifesting relationships. So, I do spring cleaning. I do fall cleaning. I do all around cleaning. Um, but no, spring is a great time. You know, you've been kind of cooped up in the winter. Um, I hate, you know, we always have the windows closed. It's cold. I just want to open windows air the house out, get the stuffiness, air myself out, so to speak. Um, spring is a wonderful time to cleanse your aura, get out into nature, go walking barefoot in the grass, and basically cleanse all the built-up energies that you've held in through the winter. So, um, Let's go ahead and get into the box here. So let's see here. So when it comes, it comes like this. Just a plain little box. Nothing extravagant. And then when you open it, you know, this is a pamphlet that tells you everything in it, plus about Ostera. And then your sealed paper. So let's go ahead and break into it here. I haven't peeked. I kept it intact for you. I see quite a few things. First thing is rolled up in tissue paper. So let's see my scissors I don't I'm afraid to like rip it open or something granted I don't think I should cut it with scissors <laughs> ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh I used to sell these on the website a long time ago it is a candle, and it's like the beeswax. It's like success and prosperity beeswax, beeswax ritual spell candle. We used to sell these on the website when we first started with it. Um, it is. It's Canadian beeswax, organic essential oils. The maker is, and I always butcher this name, Le Locans Awen. Um, retail seven ninety five. Um, and let's see. It says here, yeah, retail seven ninety five. Why we chose it? Bees are an industrial sponge, and what better material to create a prosperity focused candle than beeswax? These vibrant prosperity candles are a great addition to any money spell or ritual we include them as a simple way to focus your intent or will on economic growth and tangible success in your work or financial matters for a simple prosperity spell anoint your candle with a corresponding oil or her herbal blend like the one mentioned in your prosperity guide included in your box it's on here um and manifest your desire from financial well-being or specific goals pertaining to prosperity and success and it smells good. It does. I like this. All right, so I'm going to set this aside here. I don't want it to break. So let's wrap it back up. 
and go to the next thing. I drink and I know things. All right, so next we have some little organza bag with some bubble wrap. Get this open here. It's heavy, whatever it is. I'm gonna keep that bag though. Warm scissors. I don't know if this is break. I see shiny stuff through it. Ooh, I know why it's heavy. It is a pyrite chunk, also known as fool's gold. Um, oh, there's something else in here too. There's a little. A little clover charm. The focus. There we go. That was in there too. Oh, okay. So this, um, it says crystal set with info card and bag. Well, I'll look. It retails for nine dollars and fifty cents. Why we chose it. Pyrite is an iron mineral often used along with magic or workings pertaining to prosperity and finances, so it only seemed natural to include a beautiful specimen with each of your prosperity centered Sabbath boxes. While it's not as valuable as real gold, it is often found in formations where gold is nearby, hence its association. See info card for more lore. Um, I don't have an info card here, but that doesn't mean it didn't get stuck with something else. And then the back of a clover says, joy probably backwards for you but I'm gonna put this in the bag so I'm missing the info card but like I said we're not done yet it might be hidden in here and that's another bubble wrap thing here Ooh. Yes. it's a bottle with a dropper it must be Oil, Entrance. prosperity, urban alchemy, prosperity, anointing oil. Anointing oils are a powerful means to dedicating yourself. There we go. Uh, dedicating yourself and or your magical components with energies corresponding to your intent. And this prosperity oil from urban alchemy makes the perfect come companion to any spell work or ritual involving financial matters or money making endeavors working of growth and manifesting success this potent mixture includes rose patchouli orange lavender and a few more see label for full ingredients um all known for their correspondence to financial success manifestation and material prosperity for an added effect anoint your beeswax prosperity candle your wallet money and more i want to smell this I smell patchouli and lavender. So yeah, that's so you get a 15 milliliter dropper bottle. I'm gonna charge that. Yes, I charge my oils. Don't don't ask why. All right, I'll put this back in here so we don't get any spills. Oh, and that retails for fourteen dollars. Almost a big bag. I don't know what's in it. Oh, I st there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so we have this gold bag. I like the theme, green and gold. Another bubble wrap item. Mm. I like this. Now you can't, it won't pick up on the gold. It's got like a gold dusting over it. So let's get here close and see. You can see it a little bit like that. It's a spring goddess altar statue with gold accents. And I honestly needed a goddess statue for my altar. So 
sets. I'm really glad I've gotten this. Um, gods and goddesses have played an extremely important role within our religions and spiritual practices, even going all the way back to our earliest of roots. History shows us that our pagan ancestors would venerate and honor various archetypal... I hate that word. Deities, more specifically during spring and the start of planting season. Um, it was the mother like fertility goddesses and a divine feminine figure that would receive an abundance of attention as they were viewed as the quintessence, quintessence of our existence. Givers of life, the bearers of breath and birth. Um, this Retails for $19.99. I absolutely find this stunning. Let me show you again. It's so hard to pick up that gold. All right, I'm going to put this back in here. should wrap it in bowl wrap so I don't break it. But let's put that to the side there. All right, so next is this little box here that says Prosperity Kit. Let's open it up and see. Oh, there's quite a bit in here. Is that all? Yep. Okay, so there's a card prosperity kit instructions. For luck and prosperity, combine the coin and stone with the herbs in the bag. Feel free to add additional money drawing herbs or items of your choosing. Say a small blessing over the bag. Luck and prosperity come my way. And wear on your body or hang in your home. Activate by squeezing the bag. Recharge under the full moon. So... It's got alfalfa, spearmint, and chamomile in the bag. And it comes with a green adventuring stone. And an I Ching coin. I don't want to focus. So that's kind of cool. It's, it's the mojo bag. We're going to put it in here before I lose it all. Yeah, this retails for $12.95. And then we got a bunch of other stuff. So remove the the snakes. I could save those. That's what I box my stuff with. Alright, so we've got some incense. Blooming Prosperity. It's an austera dual blend. Handcrafted Blooming Prosperity Austera Ritual Incense. Promotes and instills abundance and prosperity, awakening, rebirth, and balance, fertility, body or mind, blossoming and fruitful experience and opportunities. Contains honeysuckle and early spring blooming flowers, essential oils. I want to smell this. Oh, it's from Wise Owl. These retail for six fifty. Can get open. I just want to smell them. I smell the honeysuckle. It's got a floral smell to them. I like those. I think I'm in here. What? 10? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. 15 of them. Alright, let's see if we're getting to the bottom here. So, ah, the pyrite card. The information card. And then there's another card. It is the Prosperity Book of Shadows Correspondence Info Guide. And it tells you the herbal correspondences, crystals, um, the core, you know, candle magic. So that is good to have. Uh, Alright, and then again, it shows you the breakdown of how much everything costs, the savings, your shipping, savings, things like that. I don't remember what I paid, but um, I'll have the link down below so you can check it out if you want to get it. Um, 
I mean, hey, look at all this stuff that I just got. And I'm in love. This is actually the first one I got. Um, you have to sign up before a particular time. They usually ship it out so you can get it um, before the Sabbath. So, of course, obviously you have all the tools um, for your rituals and things like that. Um, and even if you're, you know, not big on doing rituals, I, I, I can't say that I'm big on doing rituals. I tend to forget. Time kind of falls away from me. But, you know, it, it's a nice thing. If you want to um, establish your you know, crystal collection or candles or just information, um, this I recommend this here. So, but I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, Austera is next week, the 20th. Um, Thursday, Thursday. Wednesday. Hold on, let me check here. Wednesday. Um, so I hope you guys have a you know great warm weather. Um, it'd be nice to be able to get out, do some spiritual cleansing um, before I do spring cleaning in the house. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below or reach out to us on Facebook or our website. Um, I'll leave all the links down below to our social media, our website, as well as um, how you can get your own box if you want to sign up for it. Um, and I think that about does it. I hope you all have a magical day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.